to induct George Harrison into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Jeff Lynn and Hall of Fame inductee Tom Petty. Thank you. Uh, some years ago, George asked me to speak and present him with a Billboard Lifetime Achievement Award. And he began his acceptance speech by saying, I'm sure being in the Beatles has not been a hindrance to my solo career. <laughs> he was first inducted into this great hall as a member of the Beatles and tonight he receives a second nomination as a solo artist. <laughs> Having stood on stage and off between Lennon and McCartney is a really tough spot for an aspiring songwriter. Yet learning his craft, he grew into an excellent writer, coming up with classics like Something, Here Comes the Sun, many more. He became so prolific that he began to stockpile large amounts of unreleased songs and this would become the basis for his first album, uh, All Things Must Pass. <laughs> which was the first number one album by an ex-Beatle. And many more hits would come. He, he often said he wasn't pursuing a solo career at all. He, he never hired a manager or had an agent. He just loved playing music with his friends. And he loved guitars, and he loved rock and roll, and he loved Carl Perkins, and he loved Little Richard, and he loved Danny and Olivia. And he loved... He loved to stay up all night long and play the ukulele till dawn, till the kids were all in bed and tucked away. Throughout the 80s, he, he hit number one again with his Cloud Nine LP, and then he, uh, he formed what he called his other band, the Traveling Wilburys. Uh, <laughs> And that was with uh, Jeff Lynne and myself and some other guys. <laughs> and, but George really was a man who lived every single minute of his life. He really filled a room. He was a very upbeat person. He had a very keen sense of humor, very keen sense of spirit. He was never preachy. He led by example. Years before Live Aid, George invented the idea of rock and roll giving back to the people. And I know, as I look around, I know many of you in the room knew him. And he was my dear friend, and yours, and the world's. He achieved much more than being a successful artist. Um, he was a truly great man. And, and, and so we're going to put him in the Hall of Fame. We're going to induct him. We're going to just push him right in there. But I need you all to say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. He's in there. Hello, uh, George was a great friend of mine and uh, we used to hang out a lot and make lots of records. Knowing George as well as I did, he's probably watching tonight and saying, get on with it. <laughs> so I'd just like to say, well done mate, you're in the Hall of Fame, where you belong, and it's about time. Thanks. <laughs> 